Hello, I am Gethin, and this is a short story about my experience after having endoscopic endonasal surgery. I had to have this surgery because in late January 2023, I visited the opticians for a regular eye appointment and my optician, Mr. Evans, noticed that the nerves in the back of my eye were discolouring. He said that they were going purple and he said there may be something wrong with the gland in the back of my throat called the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is a vital hormone gland and it plays a major role in the metabolism, growth and the development of the human body. It helps to regulate m many body functions by constantly releasing a steady amount of thyroid hormones into the bloodstream so when I heard this I did worry a little bit even though he told me not to. In February of 2023 I was told that I had to see the eye specialist in Carmarthen of Glanguilly Hospital. This was a, a follow-up appointment requested by my optician and the specialist done some tests but they could not see what they needed to and I wanted to go in more depth by having an MRI scan. This worried me even more. An MRI scan is a type of scan which uses strong magnetic fields and radio waves to produce detailed images of inside of the body. My MRI scan was focusing on my head, my eyes and my throat. The MRI scanner looks like a massive tube where you lay on a bed and get pushed into the tube and this is how the scanning is done. After having the results I was told to go back to the eye doctor immediately as there was something wrong and they needed to talk to me. This sent me into panic mode again because they had told me and my family after having the MRI scan if there was anything wrong they would ring us within the next 48 hours and this was the next afternoon. After I arrived in the hospital, I was told that I have a tumour on my pituitary gland. I was told to wait for an hour as the eye doctors called the neurosurgeons in the Heath Hospital in Cardiff. However, again, this time I was told not to worry because it is B9, which means non-cancerous, and it is very common, so this got me relaxed. But then they said that it is very rare in people my age. Around two weeks later, on the 23rd of February, I had a video consultation with a neurosurgeon that would be doing my surgery. His name is Mr. Mohammed, and he was a very nice man. During the video consultation, he went very in depth and he was very clear. He had my MRI scan results on the screen and he drew a line to show what they would be doing during the surgery. He told me, you need to have surgery as soon as possible. Are you happy to have it done next Tuesday on the 28th of February? I was very shocked at this news. I was expecting surgery but I wasn't expecting it to be this soon. However, I said yes, I would like to get it over and done with and he agreed with me and he said I think you have made the right choice. He was keen to get this done quickly because it could have kept growing and caused more side effects like loss of vision, loss of speech and other stuff like that. Endoscopic endonasal surgery is considered brain surgery even though the surgeons insert a mini camera up through the nose to remove the tumour. After the operation I was told that the surgery lasted 8 hours but everything went well. Also the graft pro process was successful. The graft process is where they take a screen graft from your leg and repair the tissue in your nose. After having the surgery, the neurosurgeon sent away the tumour to get it scanned. He found out it was something called a rath cleft cyst. A rath cleft cyst is a non-cancerous growth on the pituitary gland in the brain. Exactly six weeks, about one and a half months after the operation, I returned to college fully fit with the only side effect being tiredness. I am very pleased with the quickness and successfulness of the surgery and I hope this video will fill others going through some surgery with some confidence. Thank you for watching.